Hey there, Coastal Bend. Happy Sunday to you. 73 degrees out there, so it feels pretty nice, and we do have a bit of a southerly breeze still going, and clouds have built in as we've gone throughout the rest of the evening, and that is going to continue into tomorrow morning. So by the time we wake up tomorrow, we're going to be seeing a blanket of clouds and maybe even some scattered and isolated showers around the coastal bend, and that is going to hang around until about lunchtime, but the clouds, unfortunately, are going to stick around for a bit longer than the rain will going into tomorrow by about sunset not looking like we're going to have very much on the radar but that changes as we go overnight remember that severe risk the one out of five right here in this green shade that's a risk for isolated severe weather and you can see here on tuesday early morning we may be seeing some uh, stronger thunderstorms there but here in corpus christi our best chance may just be a stray rumble of thunder or two so if you're wanting to get your car washed, I know my car is personally the victim of all the seagulls around here. You're going to want to hold off on Monday with those scattered showers in the morning and in the evening. Tuesday, maybe some showers in the morning, but past that, it looks like a pretty dry rest of the week. But in terms of the mugginess and the dew point out there, still going to be feeling pretty humid Monday and Tuesday. I don't think that dry line is going to make it quite all the way to the coast and here into Corpus Christi, but our our temperatures are still going to be upwards of 90 degrees on Tuesday and Wednesday behind our next cold front. It's going to be even hotter. Let me show you what I mean. Mild morning to start for Wednesday, but as that cold front comes, oh, my clicker's not, there it goes. That uh, cold front comes down. It's going to get really hot on Wednesday afternoon to the tune of 90 plus degrees, maybe even reaching 100 way, way out in the brush country. But behind the cold front will be drier air and a cool cooler morning to start our Thursday with temperatures in the 50s. So let's do a little bit of fun math. Yes, I said fun and math in the same sentence, but it's the weather. It's always fun. Here's why we're going to be so hot. We'll have sunny skies, so there's no clouds to keep us cool. We'll also have that front approaching during day, uh, the peak of heating. So during the middle of the day when the sun is overhead, think lunchtime to early afternoon. That's when we heat up the most, plus compressional heating by the cold front. So basically as it it forces its way forward. It's squishing the atmosphere and that really, really makes us hot. So all of these things together are going to make for a really hot Wednesday. And here's what I'm talking about. We'll get up into the 80s for uh, the start of your work week, but slowly just climb the stairs here up to 95 on Wednesday. But behind that, high temperatures are looking to go back to more of a seasonable uh, temperature around 82, 83 degrees to round out the week. But those low temperatures even though we've got 90s in the middle of the week, don't put away that jacket just yet. We could see some chilly mornings heading into the weekend. Tonight, though, it's going to be more on the comfortable side than chilly. Probably not going to need a, need a jacket if you're heading out the door. 67 tomorrow morning and then tomorrow afternoon with those clouds. It'll stay on the cooler side here in Corpus Christi compared to elsewhere. 83, but we could see some 90s out in the brush country where the sun shines a little bit more. Tuesday, those clouds continue to work out of here. Wednesday, lots of sunshine, but looking like the hottest day of the year so far ahead of that cold front. A little bit breezy, too, so prior. And it may be a little bit like walking outside in a hairdryer on Wednesday.